What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, the French have decided to redeclare war on us and they have gone to lay siege to the town of Turin. So this is going to be a bit dicey. Oh no, actually not as dicey as I originally thought. Because, well, most of them are cavalry so we can get rid of that. But lots of depleted units. Um, well, it's going to be dicey. Let's get ready. So as I outlined before, my plan isn't to isn't necessarily to win this fight. It's more about doing as much damage as possible so the garrison force at Turin can um, can engage. Well, can, well, so that my garrison force at not Turin in Genoa. Uh, oh, dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. <sighs> Good. Although this may actually be beneficial for us. Suicide mortars, get the hell out of here. Well, I want to make sure my weakest units are deploying or doing something like this. But we may get saved because we get lots of we have lots of troops with fire by rank. So I'll probably want something like this and something like this. You can't deploy. Well, these guys can't deploy any defences because they're garrison troops. But they will have to do. So they definitely want something like this to nullify their cavalry. My general is going to stay behind. And my house is just to stay out of the way. Although, actually, they're probably not so bad now if I place them like here. Maybe not with the bunker, but just put them somewhere like that. So, let's put our grenadiers somewhere a bit smarter. Maybe run a unit, this small unit of grenadiers, up on here so they'll mount the fire, step and fire into the town or into the settlement. Maybe even put a unit of line infantry again still into the into the uh, command HQ. They have no artillery so I'm not concerned about that. Um, I am very much just defending the breaches because my overall hope is that I can overwhelm and destroy as many troops as possible inside the breaches rather than defending the walls because I may as well let them have the walls. Because ultimately that will provide no the most amount of useful stuff we can do is just try and eviscerate them as they advance in and this may result in melee fights hey these guys managed to make some units round Pour fire into the breach. That's all we can do. If they start to swamp us, I can re I can reallocate some troops. Yeah, this grenade is going to try to hold off a unit of infantry. No, stay where you are. A few days are going to try and push in, but that's not too terrible. Not too terrible for us because we have our troops in there, our melee troops. The grenadiers up there charging through the centre are a bit of a concern. Let's maybe run the grenadiers over here. Because I don't really want to get into a into a uh, melee fight, but it looks like we're not going to have much of a choice. These grenadiers are going to kill as many of this unit as they can. 
before ultimately failing. The men inside the town, inside this, this government building, will be... will probably die. Gong red is, get stuck in. Because 129 grand air guards, they'll do a lot of damage. I would very much like them to commit their cavalry, but I doubt that's going to happen. And you guys may as well stay where you are. <coughs> so our... Uh, granted they've got lots of Bilkley's regiment and things like that, which we can do lots of damage, in, damage with. Unfortunately these guys are grenadiers, so they can do lots of damage, but our grenadiers are going to I know, they're getting mowed down. I suppose they do have. Can you guys commit? Let's run my general around like this. And then smack him into the rear. Can you guys get inside the building? Start to challenge this unit of fusiliers. Small grenadiers are holding off. Ah, oh, someone charged somewhere funny. No, I don't think anyone's charged anywhere funny. You guys hit the fusiliers. Damn, they're not going to last very long over there. I assume it's probably going to be pathfinding around here, but it looks like we're going to... The central position in my main, my main body of men is going to break. I don't quite know what's caused all this, this massive frame rate drop. I was hoping they would charge their cavalry in and we'd get lots of quite free kills. Yeah, the, yeah, the grenadiers are winning. Artillery is dropping short rounds. It's actually doing more damage to us, I think. It could well be the fighting inside the uh, inside the farm. But that's a lot of troops. 42, 148. Yeah, that's a lot of troops. Well, I think this is slightly inevitable now. As my... As my general's bodyguard charge in. And I'm going willing to sacrifice my general to this fight. He won't die because those are friendly barricades. Oh, is it? Those guys being silly. It's usually something to do with the corners that seem to always screw things up. It's going to be frame rate, so I may as well try and speed up time. This guy's routing with one man left, the 23rd. He's had enough. Okay, let's try get back down to normal speed, see if anything's got any better. So my hope here is that with this cavalry charge I can somewhat try and turn the tide. Yes, cavalry. I hope oh, they're probably gonna charge in through here like them to charge. If they charge straight in, I'd be happy. Ah, it's these... Oh, they were a contributor. Oh, come on, cavalry. I run my cavalry through the barricade to try and lure 
their cavalry to run into the barricade. These guys have been held up by the grenadiers, but if we can make them rout. God no. Those other three units are coming in coming into bear. I mean, if this was toss of a coin, now the tide will be turned. But like I said, our goal isn't necessary to win, it's to uh, do damage. General's bodyguard. Let's get you the other side of these barricades. Follow in the charge, especially the general's bodyguard. There go the French. They're in now. Charge. Charge onwards, please. Cavalry seem keen to get involved. Oh, I'll take this. Because in, in their eagerness to get involved, the French are losing a lot of their cavalry. Yeah, our heroic general has fallen. He may as well engage at will. Try land a carcass shot off. That's a good carcass shot as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll take their cavalry getting absolutely hammered because of our defences, especially when they charge in like that. Where's the, the general? Why do we remember the general's staff? The general's bodyguard's going for a canter round. But it looks like their cavalry force is almost completely decimated, falling on from these charges. Like I said, not ideal, but uh, I will take. Look at all those sabers. Some of them didn't make it through this tiny little gap. Uh, you haven't got the guts to charge my mortars. Yeah, let's speed up time. Oh no, let's see if we can watch. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Fire my mortars and they fire here. Yeah, they took the city, but we made them pay a dear price. Which, um, I think is fairly acceptable. Yeah, we broke their force in half, there's only a thousand men remaining. Oh. Yeah, they're going to intercept our little ship. Hey, oh, we, oh no, I was about to say I thought we killed one. They sank our ship. Sad face. Um, but now we may be forced to push on to France. Um, well, now we've got peace with the Ottomans, and it looks like the Ottomans are reorganising their forces. We'll have a bit of freedom to drive west. I hope. <clears throat> Probably going to want to build a fort to block the Ottomans from being able to advance through that northern passage and begin to slowly build a garrison but I do need to either knock out or severely damage the French and Spanish because this can't continue the Ottomans are too much they're advancing too strongly I need to stop until I can at least get quick climb or I can rebalance my economy um So what's that? Only about 3,000. Yeah, 2,000 a turn. That's not much at all. So we've lost a bunch of trade because we've lost... all well, this port got raided. You're not in a great spot to hold them off, but it's probably good enough. To be honest, you're going to march up ready. You're also going to join them. You... 
We'll gain a general. Alfil. <laughs> Wait a minute. You died before, I think. Um, you will march west. Put Tyrion under siege. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no general here. Can you? In he can't intercept people coming through this, this area. So what I may do is, you could do with cool units, but I don't know if you can afford it. So instead, I'll probably send. Servo vostro, signore. Let's probably send those units over. I could, they, I know they could meet up, but. It makes me feel better. You guys are going to hold in Verona. Ready to form a new defensive position. Could upgrade farms. But yeah, we need to push in and take... Take Paris. Paris would earn us a lot of cash. I think that's what we need to do. If we push in, we can secure our southern flank. That's quite a nice navy to try and attack but repairing ships is expensive so let's repair two oh, see if i was a good naval player i'd be I'd be looking at that going yep we can take all of those um i may end up immediately attacking turin no you've not really got the troops ready to back it up if anything you guys probably need to go and Support Alfeo. First things first, technologies and research and building. So we need to build that ordnance board. That's what we need to do the most. So I'm probably going to hold off doing any sort of building. So I can maximise... Do you want to I'm going to leave you where you are. I'm going to, I'm going to hold off building anything to get income, or a bit of income next turn. Actually, it might even be worth... might be worth repairing that. No, let's not repair it, because they're probably going to get raided again. Let's hold. We'll have two armies ready to punch. Well, one will punch north for Paris. One will try and go south for Madrid. And this is me sorely, sorely hoping the truce with the Ottomans holds for long enough. Because if we secure Paris, that's a large, large amount of income. But we need to build that ordnance board and we need to exploit Quicklime because right now we're getting squeezed. Russia's getting quite powerful. Obviously, the Swedes are quite powerful because they're holding... They've got a good position in Central Europe. It's part of the reason why I'm keen to just take Paris. Because I do not want to open up a border with Sweden and give them reason to attack me. But let us proceed. There's the riots in Central Italy. Oh. God, why are there riots? Um, I, I can't even. I can't build the ordnance board, so we're gonna build. Uh, build dragoons to help quash. Um, clamor for reform. War weariness is high. Granted, I can't exempt you from tax, but that might mean we might end up getting a rebellion. Which is obviously bad. So you may have to stay nearby. You can repair. I mean... Problem is, I don't want to attack the garrison. Because I don't want to lose casualties. I want to take it as bloodlessly as possible. So I can advance. and I can advance in good order. Um, we're trading with. We're not the only one we can't. The only person we could trade with is the Mughals. Not the Mughals, the Ottomans. Let's try peace and trade with the Russians. Nope, they don't want it. Yeah, see, the, the Europe is becoming a, a set of power blocks here. So 
it's um So we have to gamble repairing this. Let's check our ministers for any diamonds in the rough diamonds. Plus one management, reduced cost of some buildings. So you're four star basic. So this guy's got plus three percent clamour for a form, so it'd be quite well, I don't want that. Okay. Hmm. So this guy's got increased clamour for a form, but he's also got plus one happiness no lower classes anyway, so that kind of offsets itself. Okay, I think we have to hit end turn. Watch what carefully Watch what happens carefully. It looks like there's more Russian tri Russian ships on the way to blockade us. So I'll hop over there when I've got when the term's over, if I can still see them. Oh, I lost sight of them. The Russians look like they're trying to steal tech again. Yep, yeah, the Swedes are funneling troops into Europe, and that's scary. There is definitely a need in this game. You need to be able to scale up your victories. You need to be able to get a ball rolling and then not lose momentum. And I fear in this campaign we've lost momentum. Um, I know there's definitely a case to be made. There's, there's definitely a case to be made that I let the rebellion happen. And then I choose to become a republic. Which may ultimately be the better option. The trouble is though, I think I might... Hmm. Yes, there's a revolution. So I can side with the rebels or side with the government. The problem is, is my army is close enough to provide support. And I've got a garrison of the dragoons in there. So I have to side with the government. For now. I have to side with the government. So we've got some Italian rebels. Hey! They actually get some of my army. I never knew that was a thing. Oh, I see. So normally, when I do revolutions, I do revolutions outside of... Or like I, I deliberately move all my troops out, and then I just storm the capital. But obviously I can't do that in this case. Oh, damn, that really sucks. That's really bad. Especially as you got my artillery. Well. Well, we can only keep doing what we're doing. You can't get a new general yet. You are going to get some... Not grenadiers. You just need numbers. Even then, actually, numbers translates to militia in my ears. So you stay where you are. See if you can... I don't want to attack them because they outnumber me. And we've got one unit of cavalry. They've got... One, two, three. They've got a bunch. In attesa di ordini. Although I could just do that. Avanti in marcia. I think we've got to do it. Take what we got. And hit him. Let's take him out. See, if I'd thought, if I'd figured it, you know, if I'd thought it through, I probably would have moved that army out of the region, done a revolution, and then not had to fight this annoying battle. See, I didn't, I, I so rarely do revolutionary battles. I didn't know that's what happened, that any forces inside the capital would become... No, oh, these green because they're mine. They're loyalist. 
No, yeah, normally when I do revolutions it's very planned and I just move them out of the country. But yeah, that's pretty dumb. Let's move up our line. Leave some troops behind. Let's make a cavalry contingent. So they're coming in from the left, which means push from the right. Well, they're coming from the right, so it means push from the left. These guys rebalance. Dragoons, dragoons, and car carbinas. Lots of options. Let's move the cavalry to intercept. Quarter given to the rebellious dogs. Those are rebels. Cavalry charging in the centre. So the artillery can now engage the line infantry. Right, you get back to where you were, let the muskets take care of the care of the cavalry problem. The militia have routed with losing 31 men. You go stay in square. Stop firing, you're doing no help for stuff here. Right, good. Get these men out of the way. You guys instead do stay like this. Artillery attack. Some of these units that have decided. Some of these rebellious dogs. Cavalry dropping back. Let's keep bombarding. Keep bombarding the enemy infantry. So the guns are exposed right at the back, completely un unprotected. Start to pivot our line like this. Some of our men managed to rout from their own fear of their own infantry. Again, they've only lost a handful of men, but they're going to lose much more because they've decided not to stand.
just keep kiting them with, with my dragoons. Silly militia. To use my cavalry to charge the uh, the gunners, but looks like the infantry get a chance to do it first. Or in reality, just push these guys through. Get a unit, of, get one unit of cavalry into position, and then get another one. No, no, we are taking out their their guns in the same breath. You make sure you kill them. Whereas these rebellious dogs will die in their droves. Stay back where you are first, militia. You're not reliable. You routed. Again, you've only lost seven or so men. Still, we want these swine to die. Yep, yeah, too bad. These once glorious regiments of our armies must be killed in the name of preserving our glorious country. I think that's all of them. Damn right, want to continue. Keep bombarding there, and let's chopper speed. Massacre these lands. cavalry allocated against cutting down these rebellious swines formerly a proud and glorious part of our army now no longer we must teach all all of our kin the rebellion will not be tolerated. Close victory. Puh. We'll teach those dogs what they can do when they rebel. Altro. Dispatch troops to hunt down the head the head instigator and have him killed. The men will chase down the remaining De Manio Marini. They have also been destroyed. Revolution defeated. Damn right it's been defeated. Have you chilled out a bit? <laughs> Good. No war weariness doesn't help. But you know what doesn't help? Rebelling. 
Though we're not five grand because we've got our port up and ready again. Ha! Huh, bit of a sideshow. Uh, where is that Russian Navy contingent? Spend the money. Oh, we can't repair you, but let's preemptively move our fleet back to Syracuse and get ready to intercept those Russian ships. Good, the French and the Swedes are at war. That's good to know. It's something we can potentially exploit. Oh no, the Russians are redeploying some ships rather than directly causing problems. It's pretty good. I'm surprised the French didn't sally. Um, so what we want to do is take our army, our new, now currently worse army, uh, rebalance it and then send it back towards the French front. I doubt capturing Paris alone will help our lot. It will still probably cause problems. But I don't think there's a huge amount we can do. So. Recruit a new general. And I think, do I take this time to sneak in ordnance board? I think I do. You men, gather. Um, let's do poor man's replenishment. Although I shouldn't really be doing it with this quality of troop, but whatever. So you're replenished. Let's keep my most experienced units topped up. You probably go back to the capital. Yeah, the militia can stay where it is for now. You need artillery, but you can recruit artillery forward up in Genoa. So let's march them west. Poor, unfortunately, we can't do any repairs. But now is the turn where the French sally into our army under Elfio Epolito. And it's one more turn till we get loads of new tech. So this is a good time to end the episode, I think. There we go, this side out. And it's going to be quite a nice easy battle, but that's exactly what I'm looking for. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for, hopefully, the capture of Turin. Cheers, everyone.